All righty, I'm gonna say this before we dive into hole 18. Uh, if I could figure out a way to fit this in my bag, the DX Condor has very much impressed me. What is up, y'all? Robbie C. here. We are out here at John LeMaster Civitan Park in Trustville, Alabama. And today we're gonna do a little spicy challenge with one of the largest diameter discs in disc golf that's PDGA legal. That's right, we're talking about the end of a condor. You might confuse this for a dinner plate or like a catch and throw frisbee. This is PDGA legal, a fantastic disc. I've got a friend that hooked me up with a Blizzard Champion Condor. And then our local shop actually just got some DX Condors in. So we're gonna see how these things fly, see how it goes and who knows maybe even get some birdies we're not going to play just the front nine or the back nine we're going to play my kind of favorite choices and favorite holes that i think would be interesting to try a condor on with all that said let's dive into the first hole all righty out here on hole one 337 feet i think we're going to choose a, a condor on this one I think we're going to go with the blizzard champion a little more uh stability a little more juice to it that way we can uh fight the wind because it's a little windy out here here we go Yep, super bad release. But we'll take it, we'll take it. All right, the Condor feels like an ultimate Frisbee lid, so in theory, we should be able to like soft toss this, but I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell based on the old shirt. Yeah, tailwind, so it should be more over. Wow, it's windy. Nothing like an obstructed 25 footer to get things started for you. I'm wondering if we come in on Annie, if it's gonna hold it. Yeah, Whew. as you can see there, if it hits the chains, it literally, when it goes into the chains, is still almost coming out when it gets kicked. So I thought it was gonna be Interest. I promise we're not just gonna play one through nine, but the first couple holes on this track are pretty awesome. We're gonna go with the DX because we want this to kind of turn over and stay in it. And hopefully if we put it a little nose up, it'll get some fade at the end. You'd rather be straight or left. Here we go. Honestly, that feels about as good as I can ask for. We'll see if we have a look. When I play this hole with my normal bag, I am always content with a par. So I'm definitely happy to get a par with just a condor. But man, that'd be sick if we got the birdie. Little nose up, spin it? Yeah, here we go. Ooh, child, what we doing out here? We got a birdie on hole two, y'all. 241 feet, there's the obvious gap that you have to hit. Once you get out there, you need to, uh, Get left. I think the right choice for this hole is a condor, so uh, that's what we're gonna go with off the tee, and depending on how that goes, we may throw a condor for the upshot. Yeah, that was definitely a good tree because we'd been in this mess on the left, so way to go, condor. I feel like if we tried to give it enough height to actually get in there, we'd hit those trees, so I think we just gotta lay it up, take our par, and be okay with that. We just got back to par, so let's not screw it up. Let's see if we could have. If we would have made the second one, I'll be honest, it would have been really tempting to just make that the cut. But you know, we all make pars and bogey sometimes. Here we go. Huh. Cool. Someone just threw into us while we're on the hole. That's a bummer. But uh, got the par. All right, so hole four for the video, hole six on the course, plays as an island green. Said it's 250 to get on the green. I think that's a deep, deep lie. Feels like it plays more like 700. Just kidding, it doesn't play 700, but it definitely plays a little longer than 250. So we're gonna try to throw this high and let it kind of fade out. And uh, yeah, let's see how much maximum airtime we can get on a condor, shall we? Still miss the island, because that's what you do on hole six, ladies and gentlemen, you miss the island. 
positives, I'm pretty used to uh, missing the island on this one. So we've had to make the putt from the drop zone several times, but never in this location. Lay it up and take our bogey. Or skip over the rocks and get out of the island and take several strokes. One, two, three. That putt was for par. And it went OB, that's a stroke. Yeah, that's a double bogey, ladies and gentlemen. Yikes. Oh, you know, just trying to keep the putt nice and loose with the weather getting frightening cold outside. But in case my wife kills me for doing this indoor putting, let me take a minute to tell you about today's video sponsor, Beat Disc Golf. Whether you like birdies, eagles, aces, or tap-ins, Beat Disc Golf is committed to bringing you the highest quality products with the hottest designs at the best available prices. They even have this new eco-friendly grip wax that truly is the bee's knees. So to get your hands on some of these amazing products, make sure you check them out at the link listed in the description below. Thank you. If you ever find that you want to start a disc golf YouTube channel, just be prepared for a couple things. One, you always got to play at weird paces. Two, you're going to get a lot of weird looks. And three, be prepared to let people play through because uh, people don't like waiting behind the cameras. And I understand that. Probably wouldn't either. Hole 11 on the course, hole five in our video. Coming in at 268 feet, it's just a swooping hyzer to the right, let it fade in. Once again, we're going to see if the beef from the champion helps us get there. Thought we were about to curl onto the sidewalk and just like live in OB. We are certainly outside of the circle. Let's try to hit a big butt. That'd be epic, y'all. Epic. Yeah, we're like trying a little spin putt action on this because I feel like my normal putt doesn't have enough. Way to go, second guy. Way to make that happen. We're good, we're all good. I think I'm actually putting these a little two nose up and they're getting a lot of stall and a lot of fade. So we're gonna try to lower that nose angle and try to see if we can get some more direct flight out of it, straight flight out of it. Cause it's not a bad disc y'all, it's not a bad disc. It would be a bummer to try and carry this in your bag, but I think it's gonna work. 268 feet, we're gonna put a nose down, try to pipe that gap on the right side and just have a good time, shall we? Big skip. Oh, I do believe we've landed in the circle on that one. See how it goes. Got a nice drop off right behind the basket, but you know what? You don't have to worry about what's behind the basket if you put it in the basket. Nice little spin putt. Here we go. It's, uh, that's not great, is what we'll call it. Bag on, uphill putt. Three seventy-five. It's basically straight off the tee. There's just like a lot of trees in the way. Wanted to get one out here that we know we one hundred percent cannot get to, so that we got to really test something out. Da, 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 da. Fade out, or do I go bam? Probably still got like one hundred twenty to the basket. One hundred thirty, slightly uphill, just. Put it out there. Actually, I don't know why we're doing a run up. Let's just let's just feel it out. I don't know why we're not keeping the bag on for this one. Train. Just do it. But uh, this hole is terrible. It's uh, 347 feet. It's a tunnel the whole time. I think we're gonna switch it up and throw a uh, throw a condor on this one. Just trying to punch it right down the gap. If we smoke that center tree, that's fine. That's fine. Key is don't throw it too hard. Nice and smooth. It's fine. It's fine. Not great. Not amazing. But it's fine. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we get our first forehand of the round at a precarious time. Whew. Nice and straight. I have no idea if this thing's gonna turn over if we hit it, so let's just smooth it out. Yeah, summon pseudo wood of Jesus because uh, trees has helped us out on that one. Huh? Jiminy. I will take that and a bag of chips. 
All right, I'm gonna say this before we dive into hole 18. Uh, if I could figure out a way to fit this in my bag, the DX Condor has very much impressed me. Such a fun disc. Hope you all have enjoyed this. If you bag a Condor, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna guess there's very few of you. If you've thrown a Condor, also let me know in the comments below. Let's show you hole 18 because it is a beast to close things out on. 330 feet straight tunnel, the whole way. Unlike the last hole, it doesn't like branch off or anything. I'm telling you, this was 17 and 18 to close out our hole eight and nine. I would say it's very difficult to find two closing holes that can have as much score variance as you have in these two holes right here, which is awesome. Cause when you play events, it's like, it ain't over till it's over y'all. Yeah, DX Condor. That thing is crazy. Haven't thrown forehands the whole time, so why not close it out really with two forehands? We're just gonna take this nice Blizzard Champion over stable and just kind of like float it. This should feel like an ultimate throw. Settle. Little death putt tester. Yeah, that's a fun way to end it out. Only one thing to say to close it out. Trash Panda Mini. Save the planet, save some strokes. Boom sauce, baby. Oh man, so outside of the absolute disaster that is hole six, which gets everybody, or I guess hole four for the video, I feel like we played a pretty clean round with the Condor. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I honestly had a lot of fun. What are the challenges or things would you like to see done with the Condor? Let me know. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching. Hope you have an incredible rest of the day. We'll see you tomorrow. But for now, I'm gonna leave you with the birdie.